Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to show you the mobile menu styling options for Breakdance's menu builder element. So here I have a beautiful desktop menu with drop downs, with a custom drop down, with the login form, with the button. But what's going to happen to this menu when we go over to the mobile device preview and take a look? Well, in Breakdance, the menu is going to be beautiful and responsive by default. You actually don't have to do anything, and everything is just going to work exactly as it should. The descriptions are removed from the links, the column titles are turned into sub drop downs, uh, and you, ba you basically just get a perfect, beautiful mobile menu. Now, let's go over the customization options. Now, when working with the menu builder, I recommend turning on keep menu selected while styling. This option will automatically turn off when you activate any child element of this menu to actually edit it, but Normally, when you're editing a menu and you click an element, it will activate that child element. That's quite annoying when you want to keep your styling options open. So if you go to Menu Builder and choose Keep Menu Selected While Styling, you can click around the menu and the Menu Builder stays active for editing. Okay, let's take a look at the mobile menu styles. So let's go over to the Design tab and go to Mobile Menu. First option is Show At. So let's go down to Tablet Landscape. By default, the mobile menu is going to show on Tablet Landscape. But let's say we don't want that because we think we have enough screen space. Let's go down to Tablet Portrait. And now the mobile menu is not going to show until we go down to Tablet Portrait or below. Okay, let's go down to Phone Landscape. And now let's demo Mode. So default is what you see right here. It opens below the drop down, below the uh, header builder, or below the menu builder in which it is contained. Okay, let's change to Full Screen. Full screen is going to open it in full screen. We're going to have an option for a top bar where we can specify a logo, which will display right there, padding, and close button style. So let's let's set that up right now. I will choose my breakdance logo, which I've already uploaded to the media library. And let's set the logo width to something like 70. Yeah, let's go with 90. 90 is pretty good. We could also flip it around, have the logo on the right, the close button on the left but I like to keep the close button in the exact same place that hamburger was to open the menu. We can link the logo anywhere we want. I'm just going to link it to the home page. We can customize the padding, but I think the default is pretty good. Uh, we can also customize the close button or disable the close button entirely, customize the color of it, uh, the size of it, the bar height, etc. We can make it thicker like that or thinner. We can make it bigger like this or smaller. But I'm going to leave the top bar settings on the default. We can also enable an off canvas menu. Off canvas means the menu will slide in from the side like this. We can then navigate through the menu as we would normally, uh, but click anywhere outside of the menu, we'll close it. We can customize the off canvas width as well. It will never be wider than the screen though. So if we set 2000 pixels, no problem. It'll just take up the whole screen. I'm going to set 500 though. Yeah, it's too much. Let's go with 400. That looks pretty good. And then of course, when we go down to phone portrait, that off canvas menu is just going to behave as a full screen menu, but it's still going to animate in nicely from the side. Let's go to tablet portrait here. Off canvas is probably the way to go. And we can also customize the off canvas position. We can make it display on the left or we can make it display on the right. I like to make my off canvas menus display on the opposite side from the hamburger toggle. So I'm going to leave left. We can also vertically align the menu links in the center. That's useful if you only have a few links in your menu and they're not drop downs and you just want to center everything. You've probably seen the effect before. I'm not going to show it in this video, but you're welcome to enable this and explore to figure it out yourself. Next up, we have link styles. So these are the links. Let's style them up. We can set a background for each link. That's what that does. We can set no border on the links. That'll remove the border or we can customize the border color. That's what that does. We have typography options for level one, level two, and level three. There are three levels of links in the menu builder. No more. Be very user friendly to have menus that are so deeply nested. Uh, let's open this menu. That's level one, that's level two, and that's level three. Column titles are treated as level two. Links are treated as level three. Let's go ahead and uh, customize this. So let's go to typography. Level one, uh, we'll set the link color to white. Then we'll go to level two, set the link color to white. And level three, we'll also set the link color to white. Let's go ahead and open up a menu. And there we go. All white links, all levels down. 
Um, I'm going to clear out the styles though because what I've created is pretty ugly. I think it was much better without those backgrounds. The default styling of breakdance looks fantastic. Uh, you can also adjust the padding on the links, level one, level two, and level three. So level one, I could make them bigger. If I wanted to use bigger typography too, it would make sense to make them bigger. Then level two, I could make them nested a little bit more, but not as tall. For example, I can go 24 uh, and 48. Let's do 48 on either side and 24. Now you'll see that these are nested further in. And then for the level three links, I could add even more. Let's go back to links, padding, and for level three, let's go with, um, I could even use 64 and I could use, let's say 18. And then I'd get that kind of nested effect. This would look much better with bigger typography. So I may as well set that up now. In fact, let's get those arrows to align as well. So I'm gonna use 36 pixels of right padding on both of those links. And let's make this look good. Why not? It's fun. Okay, we go to links, typography, level one. Let's make that font. 24 px and let's go level two let's make it 18 px and let's make it black and uh, let's go to level three and make that font let's say 16 px and there we go now we have our nested menu beautiful animates nicely looks great very user friendly your next option is the toggle styling options so you go to toggle and now we could customize the toggle we could change the icon color Right, I can make it purple if I wanted. I can change the icon open color as well. So I could make it a completely different color when it's open. This is just uh, for demo purposes. I know the design's ugly. Okay, let's go to toggle and customize the wrapper of the toggle. I could add a black background of the wrapper and let's give it a white icon, clear out the icon open styles. And when the toggle's open, let's give it a uh, gray wrapper background and let's give it some wrapper padding of say 20 pixels and there we go now we have white icon and black and gray wrapper so that's how to create that effect you can also customize the wrapper radius i could add in a 10 pixel radius if i wanted for something like that i can customize the toggle animation we have a number of built-in animations which look pretty damn cool let's try arrow then you get that effect it's very nice let's try um slider and you get that effect a lot of great options there you can also use uh, a custom icon if you want or you can just customize the bar width so i could make the toggle let's say do 48 pixel bar width i could do eight pixel bar height i could do six pixel yeah let's do more i could do 12 pixel 11 pixel bar spacing i could even add a radius on the bars and create that sort of toggle so you can get Super fancy with that just by customizing a few options. And you can also customize the background of the mobile menu. That's the area not covered by the links. So I could set that to purple. And since the links don't have a background, of course, they're going to inherit the parent's background. And I can also set the transition duration. That's just going to affect various transitions in the mobile menu. All right, that is how to use the mobile menu styles in Breakdance's menu builder. This is Lewis from Breakdance, and thank you very much for watching.